Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to this match preview where we look ahead to this League 2 fixture between Doncaster Rovers and Crawley Town. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match preview, Doncaster Rovers versus Crawley Town this weekend in League 2. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel and returning time and time again it is greatly appreciated if you're new to the channel please consider clicking subscribe so you don't miss any future content the match day vlog will be coming up tomorrow evening and if you are new to the channel this is a format that we go through match previews we'll look at the previous meetings between the two clubs we'll look at current form across all competitions i choose a doncaster rovers player to say a few words about and then i pick a crawley town player as my opinion as the one to watch for you guys but as i always say you know your club much better than what i do so if you think i've missed the mark please in the comments down below let me know who us rovers fans should be watching out for in tomorrow's fixture and then to finish the video off there's three predictions the predicted team lineup thanks to fan hub me and the family have got a predictions league table so there's an update on that and then finish off with the all important score prediction at the very end so without further ado let's get into previous meetings Donny and Crawley not faced off too many times in our history, only six times in total, with both teams winning one game and then we've shared the spoils on four occasions, so about as even as you're going to get coming into this one. But when we drill down into our more recent five fixtures, in 2013 it was a 1-1 draw away from home and then in the 14-15 season in League 1 it was a 0-0 draw at home and then a 5-0 away victory for the Rovers and then in the 16-17 season in League 2 um, it was two draws a 1-1 draw and a 0-0 draw all of these draws won't be enough for, for us in my opinion on Saturday it's a, it's a big game we've got to win it current form it's not good reading for both teams in all fairness um, Rovers winning two out of their last five but there's three defeats on the bounce sandwiched in the middle of those two victories those three defeats coming in the league Crawley on the other hand, um, a win in the Papa John's Trophy, a draw and a win and then two defeats coming into this one. And for me, the pressure's starting to mount on Gary McSheffrey in the Doncaster dugout after three poor performances in the league that resulted, as I mentioned, in the three straight defeats that we can see on the screen. Um, performances all season have not been particularly good, they've not been stellar performances, but what we have seen is fight, organisation, togetherness, desire. Um, to pull results out of the bag, late goals that have that have got us three points or a point, and for me, that fight, that desire, that passion has been missing in the last three games. Um, and there's been talk that Gary has lost the dressing room, or however you want to put it. Um, but we need to see performances and victories coming back sooner rather than later. Midweek, there was a couple of tweaks in the tactics for Gary McSheffrey, um, and that got us the three points at. At League One team Lincoln, so a positive result um, against a good team who beat us 3 0 in the Carabao Cup earlier in the season. Um, so, yeah, I try not to look too much into the Papa Johns because there is a lot of changes in the squads um, and nobody really takes it particularly seriously. But I think that result nonetheless should give the lads confidence going into these three vital games coming up. Uh, the first one being tomorrow's against Crawley. So hopefully a bit of confidence coming into this one and we can turn those uh, three straight defeats into a win tomorrow. Crawley on the other hand, not quite hitting the stride that many expected um, at the start of the season. After a decent transfer window this summer, they were tipped to push on from a 12th place finish last season and it's just not quite happened so far this season it's been a tough start to this campaign season with only one win from their opening nine games drawing three and losing five but there is signs that things are starting to come together a little with the first win at home to Stockport following a hard-earned point at Salford so they're showing that they, they have got the ability at this level but it's just not quite clicked um, so far this season and hopefully it stays at one win from ten come five o'clock six o'clock tomorrow on to player profile so for this one Doncaster Rovers I have chosen somebody that we've not seen in a long long time it is Ben Close 26 years old he was is is a midfielder signed from Portsmouth last summer it was Richie Wellens's first summer signing last season but unfortunately he's been plagued with injury so he's not been able to influence the team um, as he'd have liked to last season I think if we got a fit Ben Close in the midfield last season 
we'd have potentially still been in League One this season. But it is what it is. We find ourselves in League Two, and it was great to see him back on the pitch midweek in the Papa John's Trophy. Hopefully, we see more of him this season because I think his ability in the middle of the pitch will be vital, especially when potentially Clayton Tomlin start to tire um so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing ben close a little bit more this season and it's great to see him back from injury like a new signing moving on to the opponents one to watch so dom telford obviously springs to mind very big signing um in the summer league two's top scorer last season but i have not gone with dom telford as the one to watch tomorrow i have gone with tom nichols 29 years old center forward and the reason i've gone with tom is is being involved in the most goals this season for Crawley so far. 10 appearances, three goals and four assists across all competitions. And three of those assists in the league came against Stockport, the game that they won. So I think if we stop Tom Nichols, we're going to potentially nullify any any threat or any potential balls in the box um, that Dom Telford, you likes Dom Telford, can get on the end of. I think if we keep on top of Tom um, throughout the game, we should come away with three points in this one. So for me, the one to watch is Tom Nichols tomorrow. But like I said at the start of the video, you know your club much better than what I do. So please, if there's somebody else, pop them in the comments down below and give us your reasons why they should be the one to watch. On to the predicted team lineup. This is thanks to FanHub. If you've not downloaded the app yet, please go ahead and do so. Plenty of features to get your team stuck into. And if you're stuck in the queue and you want to get into the app, I've got a golden ticket. There's a couple of uses remaining on this. It's 18D-W88. Type that in, you'll be straight onto the app. And I use it mainly for the predicted team lineup. And this is what I'm going for for tomorrow's game against Crawley. We saw midweek a changing tactic going two up top we got the rewards um, so for me I think we've got to start with that and try and grab this game by the scruff of the neck straight away so I'm going with Mitchell in goal and this has been unchanged now for maybe three or four previews I've wanted to see this from the Rovers for, for a number of weeks and um, hopefully it comes this weekend uh, but a back four of Noel, Williams, Faulkner and Maxwell a midfield four of Hurst, Clayton, Tomlin and Tommy Rowe on the left with George Miller and Max Walkman up top just to try and support each other um, and hopefully that's the 11 that will get us the three points tomorrow on to the predictions league table so if you're new to this me and the family predict the scoreline for every league game if we get it spot on we get three points if, if we get the outcome of the game right but not the result we get one point and if we get completely wrong we get no points chris and max were confident against swindon went with wins Obviously, we got beat 1-0. Me and my dad went with 2-1 defeats. Um, so that gives me and my dad one point. Closes the table up, but no changes. Max still in first, Chris in second, dad in third, and I am bottom on six points. So, yeah, plenty of time. I'm not worried yet. And that takes me on to my score prediction for this one. Um, as I've said earlier in the video, a tough start for Crawley. They've, they've not quite hit the stride, what was expected from many. Um, Rovers coming into this one on the back of three defeats in the league but hopefully that midweek win will have boosted the confidence a little bit um, I'd like to see the pressure eased from McSheffrey but I think he's got to get seven or nine points from these next three games so I think we've got to start with a statement win so I'm going to stick my neck out and I'm going for a 3-1 victory to the Rovers let's hope that is the scoreline come five o'clock tomorrow and that's where I'm going to leave this one. If you've enjoyed it, please stick a big thumbs up on it for us, please. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.